This is either going to be strawberry banana or a dead fish. Oh my goodness. Good morning, friends. We have the tree people out to cut down our dead tree. It's going to be kind of a big undertaking. Do you want to watch? Yeah. So do you want to know what they're going to do? Yeah. Cut down that tree. So they're going to put a notch at the base of the tree and lay the tree flat down into our yard. And then they're going to drag it back into the woods. Is it going to be loud when it hits? I bet it is going to be loud because it's just they're just going to knock it over. I thought it would be like... They'll probably use yeah. chainsaws. Oh, yeah. yeah. Caleb, you feeling nervous about it? You don't like loud noises, huh? And why do they have to do this? So that the tree doesn't fall on you guys. It's a dead tree, we're trying to cut it down. How is it dead? It died. It had a disease and it, it died. What tr how, do, how do trees get disease? There's certain diseases that spread for certain kinds of trees, and this one was an elm tree, and there's a certain disease that killed it. Pepper came out too to help out with the tree. Isaac and Elise wanted to get a better look of the tree coming down. There it comes, you guys. Yeah, I got pull. Oh. my. Oh, I'm not loud at all. That wasn't too loud, huh? What did you think of that? Good. That was awesome. I like to. Where's these stuff? We're knocking the trees down. Oh. Let's they need to get another one. Should they get more trees? We got them to leave up four stumps so we can make little chairs for the kids. If we need a fifth one later, they're out in the woods so we can grab one. So pretty. I'm going to go outside. You can't go outside with your princess dress on. Downstairs. Okay, so what do you think we should do with the stumps? That's what I really want to do. I was thinking we could like build and while we think about it, we could um we could be on the trampoline thinking. I'll be working. You getting your tools out? Yeah, we need the hammer and nails. You wanting to work with this wood? Yeah. So this morning, Jeremy put a dinner in the crock pot for our family, which is awesome. The only problem that we're having is that it smells so strong to me because I'm pregnant and I just, every time I walk into the main room or anywhere in the house, like, it's making me really, really sick. So... It is a really strong smelling meal. It's a roast with green chilies and it's an amazing meal but it's a strong smell so where are you going we're taking it to a nice neighbor who said we could cook it over there so it wouldn't have to smell over here 
So yeah, I just texted a neighbor and was like, I know this is a really random question, but can my crock pot cook at your house today? And so she's being really nice and Jeremy is taking it over there. And so hopefully when I don't smell something cooking, I'm more likely to be able to eat it. So hopefully I'll be able to eat it tonight. Today in our state is actually a primary election. And so I'm taking the kids with me and we're gonna go vote. We have a walnut tree here and its seeds drop like balls all through our yard and I'm always having to get rid of them and it's really hard work. Dad, what are you doing? I'm getting rid of these seeds. Alright, so I just picked up the crock pot from our neighbor and I'm going to be assembling the uh, chimichangas that we're making. While I was broiling and I was distracted doing another thing and I come back and I burnt it. I think that I can salvage it by like scraping some of the blackness off and I actually don't mind it like that but I'm feeding a lot more people than myself so a little bit of a bummer. So poll question for today, have you ever burnt something before when you were cooking? And I would love to hear these stories in the comments, it'll make me feel better. Well. That'll work. So Isaac, what was your favorite part of the day? Um, I probably liked playing in the sprinklers with Luke. How about you, Caleb? What was your favorite part of the day? Playing with Luke in the sprinklers on the trip. I just loved it, that. And can we have ice cream? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe not. Mm. We'll see. We'll ask Mom, okay? I'm drinking water. You want some water? Let's see if she can do this without getting water all over herself. Uh, Good job! Now... You're still dry. Juice is like a big girl. My favorite part of the day was playing with Ellison and <laughs> doing a fashion show. Oh, did you do that over there? Yes! <laughs> We're gonna do a little challenge. So our friends came over to play and they brought with them the game, the Bean Boozle Challenge. So we're gonna be doing that. This is either gonna be strawberry banana or a dead fish. Oh my goodness. I really want strawberry banana, but I don't want dead fish. Are you sure? <laughs> is it disgusting? Takes a minute sometimes. No. It's good. Dang it. Every time. <laughs> if you go back and watch our Bean Boozle challenge, Isaac did, I think it was nine or ten rounds with never getting one of the gross ones. So. Alright, Elise, go for it. So it's either caramel corn or moldy cheese. Is it moldy cheese? <laughs> Nine! Moldy cheese. This is either tutti frutti or stinky socks. Tutti frutti and really tastes so like stinky good. socks. Let's see. It smells like stinky socks. <laughs> <laughs> this is either juicy pear or booger. <laughs> Easton? Which one did you get? Oh, let me see it. Okay, that juicy one is booger? either barf or peach. <laughs> <laughs> it must have been booger. The barf one is really bad. <laughs> Unlucky. Really barf or peach? It's peach. peach. Dang it! <laughs> Look at that. Oh. <laughs> Alright, that's either dead fish or strawberry banana. Dead, dead fish or fish. Let's see. Chew it, Chew it up. Lori is a thing of grossness. She almost eats. <laughs> yeah, she likes dead fish. She's a one. Is it good? Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, it must not be a dead fish. Knox, you want to try it? Okay, ready, Knox? Knox's turn. Stinky socks or tutti frutti? Tutti frutti. 
Fruity. He's like, do I dare? <laughs> Go for it, man. <laughs> Just suck on it. Maybe. Is it good? Or is it yucky? It smells bad. Yeah, it smells like Tutti Fruity. He's just in shock. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. I think it's Tutti Fruity. The mom test. I don't know. Taste it. Yeah, <laughs> eat it. Eat it, mom. Is it good or bad? <laughs> okay, Soren's going for it. This is rotten egg or buttered popcorn. It's rotten. Popcorn. Oh, he got it. There's that one's popcorn. gross anyway. Popcorn. Yeah. <laughs> popcorn is awful. Spoiled milk or coconut? coconut? It's spoiled milk. <laughs> That one's getting the gag reflex going. Gag reflex? Okay, okay. I bet it's dog food. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's spoiled milk or coconut? I like coconut. Coconut. Yeah. What is this one? Peach or barf. Oh. <laughs> no, I don't want to have it. You won't okay, barf. You don't have to, you don't have to. Okay, Soren's going to try it in your place. I want to eat that first. <laughs> the bark is so bad. I hate the bark. Yeah, bark is terrible. Bark or peach? I bet it's bark. Oh! <laughs> so, what do you think of the bark one? It's gross. Yeah, that's the idea. He finally got a barf. That one's got to be peach or barf. Is it barf? Well, it was fun to have our neighbors Kylie and Soren come over. It just made for a fun evening. So now we got to clean up this mess. And uh, that's it for today. Jay House out. Elise came in trembling that a big snake was right by her.